Welcome to Date Night Podcast, a tabletop role playing game podcast set in the homebrew world of Volunaya. Let's explore a whole new world together. Suit. Yes. When you took off from the <laughs> rear of the ship, uh-huh. you had a man in your hands. Yeah. When you land oh, on the other no. side of the hut, no. Uh-huh. You have a large, silver-haired werewolf. Interesting. This could be a fight. Well, that's fine. I'm, do we I'm, all? I'm thrilled. We, we all see that, I guess. Oh yeah, you guys. You see a large werewolf? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you're gonna be first, so Marina, you're up. I snarl in anger. And I stab him with my... (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, that's clearly your action. (laughs) (laughs) And stab him with my dagger with the crimson right, unless the crimson right takes an action. You tell me, does it? I was pretty sure those were a bonus action, but double check. I'm pretty sure it is, too. Bonus action. Bonus action, okay. Okay, blood right, stab in the chest. Okay, you're doing the, um, you're taking the the, the HP penalty, right? Yes. Okay. 14. 14 does hit. As the Admiral is not wearing any armor. Yeah. Eight and six. He takes 13 damage plus one fire damage. 14. Okay. Yeah. Welby. I've got a question. Yes. I don't know. Does Welby know or do we know? Would I know if this creature... Qualifies as like Fey or something along those lines. Make a nature a history or na- I'm gonna say nature or make history. A, make a nature check. Oh, this is the same. Make a nature. So check. it doesn't really matter. That's <laughs> uh, I've got ex- twenty one. No, I don't have eighteen. Wait a minute. Sorry, I I have some skills here that I unbubbled. It's just 15. Okay. Um, you know that this still qualifies as humanoid. Like he's not a he's not a fae. He's a, a person. Damn. Okay. That won't do a damn thing then. But since he is a person, I'll go for hold person. Um, okay. What is that, a save? Yeah, he must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 16, or be paralyzed. Uh, he rolled an 18, unfortunately. Okay. So he's fine. And that's a spell uh, he, slot. No, that's right. He's, yeah, he wouldn't be considered trapped. Right um, second level spell slot. And we're under the... I can't cast another spell. Oh, that reminds me. You're not still in the hut, are you? Yeah, well, I was. Okay, you so can't, I cast, can't cast out of the can't hut. cast out of the hut. But I was going to try to make something where I was, but I can't anyway. It doesn't help. Uh, I would have had to step out to cast hold person right. then. So I would have stepped probably... Could I see if I went more... I don't want to get near him. I want to kind of leave the hut between well, me and him a little and scramble up on like a little railing where I can see him or something. Sure. We'll say it takes 10 feet of movement. Okay. That's all I'm going is okay. that far and, and cast it and I failed. So that's right. it. That's my turn. Uh, let's see. He's still down. He's still downstairs. Uh, it's going to be Talia's turn. She is sitting put, um, but she... I think the jig is up. Do you want me to drop the the... the I'll think the uh, way. Uh, no? <laughs> no. All right. Okay. Well, she can't. Just... Her bardic inspiration is is a magical effect, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We okay, could so drag him into the hut. She can't do jack. Could we? No. We, could, we couldn't bring him in? She had. She chose at the beginning of the casting. Right. Oh. Who, who's allowed in yep. and who isn't. Yeah, so we could go Marina in. Marina doesn't this know is, that yet. This is, this is what's happened. Just so. It's in my brain. So, DM, please. Mm-hmm. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Because I likely am. As far as I understand boats, which I don't. Correct. He's kind of trapped in the front, in the forecastle. He's here. Correct. With a 10-foot dome in the way. That's accurute. So, so here's your door, or actually here's your stairs. Mm-hmm. 
Can you use your stairs if you want them on the other side, too? No, that's the door on that side. Great. Even better. So here's a door, and then here's, like, a bunch of fucking crates that I put there. No, you put those under the stairs. Great. <laughs> you want me to draw it? They're under there, <laughs> and then the wheel <laughs> is here. Correct. Uh, there's a sail, I would presume. A mast, correct. You know... <laughs> It has a mustache. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is not bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's really good. Um, so this is why I bring this, though, is yeah. because sometimes yeah. I I say things. I want to make sure people know what I'm talking about. I feel like we're here. You are. Great. At least, and I'm at least here you, you and the, the audio, captain Audio is. viewers, ee, listeners, we are in the bow of the ship, protected by the uh, Leoman's Tiny Hut dome, at least a little bit. Sure. We'll say you on the other side, I'll give you three quarters cover. Right now, you don't have any. Well, I mean, from. You would have three quarters cover from anything coming out of the door. Sure. Uh, well, be. Yeah, you I'm don't have. concerned with the werewolf. You don't, have, you don't have cover from that side, but you do have three quarters cover from the werewolf. Yeah, that's that's good for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll cross the other bridges when we come to them. Let's just say that depending on which side you're on, the hut provides three quarters cover. Okay. So that's Talia's turn. Yes, she doesn't do anything because she can't right now. Uh, Thute, you're up. Cool. Um, I'm going to throw the werewolf in the ocean. Okay. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> that would have worked real good if I could have. I'm pretty sure Marina's going to kill you later, but go for it if that's <laughs> uh, what you want to do. Oh, that is what I want to do. Um, but no, but I went and got I went and got him for her. So <laughs> unless, all right. I did stab him with the dagger. Yes, you did. Would I have been <laughs> he, so? He took the appropriate I, damage for that. Right. You leave a nice big gash across the side. All right. I think I think that Thute, I think that's what Josh would have done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think <laughs> what would Thute have done? It's a wolf, <laughs> right? Ah! <laughs> but I think that Thute would uh, be excited, actually. And so let's fight him. Um, I had no idea what this was. Oh, I did a growl for the werewolf. <laughs> uh. I could only half hear it. I had no idea what noise it was. The water I'm heater is sorry. broken. <laughs> it's um, not even in this part of the house. What is happening? Is there a plane flying overhead? Are we all dying? Okay. <laughs> sorry. Back um, to topic. Bonus action to hex him. Okay. He and, is hexed. Huh? He, he is. will be considered hexed, and he takes, um, he, well, if he gets hit by me, he'll mm-hmm. take an additional D6 with everything. Um, <sighs> He's so tiny. And then I'm too close to do that. And I'm so. Uh, he'll uh, have disadvantage for the next eight hours. Yeah. On strength checks. I'm choosing strength checks. Choosing strength, okay. Um, can I do that? Mm-hmm. You yeah. Don't want yeah, absolutely. Okay. And um, then I want to put him. Did your hold take? I'm going to put him in a full Nelson. Just a full grapple. Yeah. Okay. But like from behind, away from that damn mouth and claws. The way I understand grappling, you can still attack a creature that's been grappled. You cannot bite me. You can attack a creature that's been grappled, and a creature that is grappled can still attack. It cannot move. Yeah. yeah. So I think if you grappled him, he would still be able to attack you. But there's no way he could physically bite me. Let's opinion. say he's part owl, and he just... Damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick with the rules on this one. I see what you're going I, for. I, 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 you've got him grappled like this I, I, around I wanna, his neck. He can still turn damage, his... But I also want to help my friends. I understand. Um, and I said I wouldn't hurt him, and now, but now he's a werewolf. So... Um, now you're scared for your life. Crap. No, now it's a thrill of the fight. So I cast Unseen Servant. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hold him, Dave. Yeah, really. Uh, crap. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to stick with strength. Um, and that's a bonus action. All right, action is battle axe, aberrates, and then just kind of like a snarl back, like, come and get it. Okay. This, just for future reference, the axe does count as magical, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It Just counts as sure. magical attacks. Yeah. Just making and sure. And I hope that's okay. Or We're like fifth a good level, thing. Perfectly right? fine. What? We're fifth level, right? Yes. I can attack twice. Five. Okay. Go ahead and roll since we're here. 
Does that mean I still get my fire, my right die? Did I don't you know. every time you deal damage or once per turn with the it's, right it's die? It's per. It's by the weapon. Are you attacking with your with the dagger, dagger again? If you attack with the dagger again, yes. I'm attacking with the dagger. That's okay. a 15 plus 7, 22. That also hits. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 2, 12. Where's my pencil? There it is. You said 12? Yes. Total? Yes. Okay. You will pay! I'm stabbing him twice. Okay. So you've opened up a gash in his side, and then you stabbed him in the arm. Okay. All right, so... Sorry, back to topic. Now it's the captain's turn, since you're the one holding him, or, or you're the one squared up on him. Oh, yeah. He is going to take his multi-attack at you. Bring it. So first one is going to be a bite. Uh, it's going to be 14 Wait, to did, hit. Did you not attack? I can't, because I aberrated my Action weapon. is that. Is oh, okay. okay. It takes an action. It takes okay. an action to bring it out. Sorry. Yeah, it's not a free action. 14? It does hit. Okay. Uh, that is... Two. That's going to be three damage and make a con save for me. Yeah. I don't have anything stupid with con saves, do I? Come on, Goliaths. Um, it's not bad. It's 18. <laughs> Pretty sure that passes, but I'm just looking on the Yeah, sheet. no, please do. Yeah, it's 12. Yeah, you, you save. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's one attack. And then he's going to go for claws. That's a 13 plus 4. Yep, 17. Yep. A 2d4. Rolling low. Uh, 7 damage. So that was a total of 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. three. So I'm going to go ahead and use my reaction of Stone's Endurance. Okay. It's a d12 um, plus 3 that I'll reduce that damage by. I reduced it by 5. Okay. So not bad. Okay. All right. Uh, top of the round, Marina, you're up. I'm stabbing him again. Okay. After I cast Mutual Suffering, so he can feel my pain. He feels your pain. So emo. <laughs> <laughs> 14. 14 we're, does hit. We're all sitting here listening to like under a... 12 plus 2 fire damage. As she activates that spell, crawling in! No. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is a 12. 12 damage? 12 or? hit. No, that matches. So, yes. Oh. oh Six plus five is 11 plus five fire damage. How much? Can we give me the totals? Sorry. 11, six, 16 total. 16 total. And that was not, that was with your dagger both times? Yes. Okay. All right. 16 was just the damage on the second attack, right? Or yes. What was the damage on the first attack? It was like. It was less. It was 12 or 13, I think. I can go back. I was thinking 12. You're thinking, okay, we'll go with 12. Okay. All right. The, Sorry, uh, listeners. Captain, looking kind of rough already because you people are merciless <laughs> no, bastards. Uh, he's a fucking bastard. I, I think yes. All right. Uh, Welby, your turn. Well, I'm worried about the duel, so I'm going to pull up a spiritual weapon. Uh, well, the people are going to move past it is the only problem. How how far are we from the door? About 20 feet. Oh, okay. I'll pull up a spiritual weapon between me and the door. Nice. Okay. And uh, Can you can you I'm sorry, go ahead. No, what? I was going to ask. It sounds where you're going it sounds like you're going to hold an action for the spiritual weapon. I cannot do that. Yeah, I didn't it's think so. That's why action. I was asking. Yeah. What I'm going to do is hold an action for command. Okay. And when I see somebody get to the spiritual weapon, I'm going to command him to halt. Okay. And then he'll be there. Just for funsies, I know on the spell for spiritual weapon, it says as a part of it, you have to Ooh, make I a melee attack. I can't attack. cast two spells anyway. I can't do that. Okay. I'll pull up the spiritual weapon, and I'll throw a sacred flame at the werewolf. What are you attacking? With the spiritual weapon, nothing. I know. I'm just messing with it, because part okay. of the spell says you have to make a melee attack. I he hits to. the wall. <laughs> I mean, I could pull it up by the werewolf and... Or you can just swing at the door. I don't care. You can make a melee can. spell attack. Okay. So I'll just leave it there. All right, disregard then. Because I can move it 20 feet on my next turn, so Correct. even if they come up to me, I can just bring it and slash at them. Correct. So I'll just pull it up so it's there, and then with my action, I'll cast uh, Sacred Flame 
at the werewolf. Okay, and he'll have to a make a deck save. save. Yeah, and I'll burn my spiritual weapon. What's the DC? Sixteen. He fails. Okay. Good. He needs to pay. Ooh, twelve radiant damage. Captain is burned to a crisp, and falls over, seemingly dead at your feet. <laughs> what do you mean seemingly? My next turn, I'm cutting <laughs> damn things head off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that trophy. <laughs> I'm bringing that to the uh, dude. D- d- can I get as far as I can? Then, actually, with my movement, can I go inside the? The dome? Yeah. I'll go inside the dome and wink at uh, Talia. <laughs> Talia. Yeah. Okay. At this time, as soon as the captain is breathing his last, uh, you see two orcs break open the, uh, the door. One is dressed in a simple cloak. He's got a... What does he have? Holy crap, I forgot. He's got a dagger in one hand and a quarter staff in the other. The other one breaks through and he looks off. He, um, you've seen orcs before, but this one has some sort of strange armor attached to it. Looks almost like a beetle for the chest plate, and it's clearly causing him pain because it has hooks that are embedded into his skin. Cool. That's unfortunate. And uh, he has a a large um, sword. Cool. All right. Uh, the one in the cloak, we'll call him the emissary for funsies, is going. Let's see who's who still is. Thute is still outside. You've been attacking through the bubble, right? Like kind of going in and out. Uh, your arms I in and out, or? had figured I'd, sorry, I didn't clarify this before. I figured I'd run straight to him and okay, started. Okay, so you're outside the bubble as well. So between the two of you. Depending on how tall the bubble is, they might not be able to see me. He's going to go for Thoot. Thoot. You guys had some cover from the bubble. Big so, order. Yeah. That adds five to our AC. And he is going to cast Charm Person. Oh, that might not help you. <laughs> So I have to look that one up real quick. Right. So three quarters cover adds plus I five to the AC. I think it's a charisma yes. saving throw, but I'm not sure. I think so too, but I have to double yeah, check. Yeah, it'd be a charisma save. <laughs> or it, it could be Wiz. Hopefully, it's he whiz. targets Toot. <clears throat> he did. He said, it's whiz. He said okay. okay. Wiz is. Uh, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's wisdom. Okay, you got to beat a DC twelve. That's real unfortunate. Because you're a minus on the so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Oh, no. You fail. I, I do. Spectacularly. As yeah. the spell creeps oh, over you, no. you think in the back of your head, wait, why am I following these people? They've been my enemies all along. Hmm. And the warrior can't really get around the bubble, so he's just going to kind of run up and sit there. Okay. Is Toot in the... No, he's outside of he's the bubble. He's outside the bubble. Talia is once again just sitting there because she can't. Oh, do, I'm in here. She can't. Do, are you hurt? No, no, but I'm gonna pop back out. You got a song for me? Of course. <clears throat> and she gives you a. She hums a, a quick little tune and you look so happy makes over you there. feel uh, calm, collected, and ready to go. You may take a D8 inspiration die. That was beautiful, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll use a purple one. Uh, okay. Thoot, you are up. Yeah, my turn. The one that I don't think is my buddy, which one's that? The armored one? No, you are... I'm charmed. I know. So I can't attack the guy that put charm on me. I can go for the other one. The way I understood charmed was as you were basically under his control. Nope. No? Uh, I cannot no. attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effacts. Okay. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Dominate person does that's the what whole, I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. So I'm moving as a bonus action. I'm moving my hex to the one that's not the one that's casting the spell on me. Okay. The warrior. That's the one with the armor. Correct. So he's hexed, and I want uh, Dex to be his brain. All right. Right. Um, how far away is he? Uh, at this, he's right on the other side of the bubble, so about twenty feet. Great. So I run up to him and I attack him twice 
with my great axe. Okay. That is That's a... cool because he can run right through the bubble. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, so here you go. And let's see. Let's see. I get... Since I have packed the blade um, and whatever the hell else these warlock guys get, this one is called... Um, Thirsting Blade. Okay. Uh, and it's just a, f- a packed feature that I chose. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love can, that one. Yeah, I can attack twice. Okay, yeah, so you understand. It. Great. Uh, natural 20 for the first one, Ooh. and uh, a 23 for the second one. Both hit. Also, um, I'm going to put the first one as an Eldritch Invocation, is an Eldritch Smite. Okay. So, um, one time per turn, mm-hmm. I can expend a Smite, yada yada. So it adds an additional 1d8 force, mm-hmm. plus 1d8 per level, and I'm casting everything at third level right now. Go for it. Um, so that would be four d eight added. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm doing, and this is as much for myself as it is for you. Three three d eight added, right? One d eight per spell. It's one d eight plus one d eight per spell level over one d eight per spell level. So yeah, that's over that's, first. That's three d eight. So two, so three total. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, yeah. So we're doing that. Does this is for the hex? Mm-hmm. This is for the axe. This and one more of these is for. Do you want another something? That's all right. Um, I will roll all these at once, though. So, six, ten, fourteen, fifteen, and another one of these, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm still in the background trying to do math. Which one? And that's so seventeen for the first hit. Okay. And then. Plus six, so twenty-three. Is that added onto the? Okay, so that's another six. And then nine. Okay, so a- uh, twelve actually. Sorry. Oof. Okay, thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. And I look over at my buddy, and I'm like, "Yeah, good, good, huh?" <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Not you. Okay. You're you're standing in place of the other orc. Oh, sorry. the other orc. Yeah, yeah that new buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know I could have cast Counterspell, right? I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, you also hear some mad cackling. Yeah, we're still uh, a person short. Yep. And it sounds high-pitched and crooked, like... <laughs> <laughs> Out from the door pours swarms of rats. No. And then a small, withered gnome. No. Hands are in the air. A flame. Cool. The rats charge up to you since Great. you're the only one they can get to. <laughs> Perfect. And they are going to try to they they swarm into your space yeah. mm-hmm. and they are going to do bites. Yeah. You seem so happy about this. First is fourteen. That hits. Okay. Second is a natural one, so that's not going to. That one doesn't. Okay. That's 2d6. That's a 10 total damage. Dang. How are you looking? I'm fine. Okay. And the, the gnome is going to just start cackling and screaming the word, Do Michael! Do Michael! Over and over again. And... Um, <laughs> Are you a wizard too? <laughs> His... And he's going to throw a firebolt at you. A firebolt? Correct. It's Doomankle. It is Doomankle. <gasps> I didn't account for the rats in my map. It's a well known that he used to play. He does a firebolt? Correct. Counterspell. Okay. Screw that crap. That winks it out if it's a cantrip. Yep. Just costs you a slot. Yep. So pretty pretty handy. It up again. Yeah, screw that guy. Yep. Okay. Thought you said you were a wizard. So that's Doom Ankle's turn. <laughs> I, 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 I go Doom. And that's the end of his turn. <laughs> Back to the top of the round, Marina. You are up. I see the werewolf lying down at my feet. Mm-hmm. Stab him again. Just steely knives. Because the I... knife sinks in, no resistance, since mm-hmm. he's dead, and his corpse immediately drains down to a withered, now charred as well, husk and. Ooh. You hear in the back of your head words that I should have had prepared when I knew that the or- when the I kept waiting for you to say it one I know, evening fell. I am so, so sorry. Nickel Vastavin is dead. Six wolves for slaying, darling. 
Did Gambit just show up? <laughs> no, that's... Is that Redemi LeBeau? Maybe. <laughs> you don't know me. Come on, Cherie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> we watched it a lot. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right, so you stabbed him. That's your turn. Unless you want to do some more movement or if you have a bonus action. Moving what is towards the mean? door. Running towards the door, okay. Yes. What's your movement? 30. You can easily make it to the other side of the bubble. How far do you want to go? All 30? If I can make it to the caster, if not, that's fine. You can make it about 10 feet oh. from the caster, so not this turn, but next turn you can engage. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Well, B. Yeah, so I'll pop out of the bubble because I need to. Okay. To Which anything. caster? I'm sorry, the orc caster or the or doom angle? Are they both by the door? They're both about the same area, yeah. Okay. There's an orc caster? Yeah. The, the one that charmed you. I didn't see Doom Ankle. I didn't even think about that. I thought maybe he had like a ring. No. I did not see the gnome. Okay. So you're going towards the orc. Yes. Got it. I'm sorry. Your turn, Welby. Yeah. Uh, you're not looking super rough or nothing? Fine. Okay. I'll use my bonus action to make an attack with the spiritual weapon then. Against? I'll pop out so I can see. Can I see everybody? More yes. or less? Uh... I'll try. Ooh, quick question. I have two GMs at the table. He went inside of the dome again. Would that nullify the spiritual weapon? It's no, not. A, it's not a concentration. Yeah, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Okay. So I okay, don't know. We'll, no problem. We'll say it stays up. It just says it stays for the duration of one minute. Roger, Roger. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'll move it over near the door where the two caster people are, and uh, I'll swing it at the gnome. Okay. Uh, I gotta make an attack for that. That's seventeen. That hits, okay. <laughs> and it does a D eight. Does it, do I add plus my spell ability modifier? So eight points of damage. Okay. Um, with my action, I'll throw a guiding. Bolt, because that doesn't cast uh, count as casting the spiritual right, weapon spell the, again. Not to swing the spiritual weapon. No. All right, yeah, I'll throw a. I think I'll just throw a guiding bolt at the gnome also. Okay. Yeah, twenty-seven. Nice. Okay, yeah, that hits definitely. It's eight, ten, fifteen points of radiant damage. Oof. And the next attack against it is is at advantage as it glows with a radiant glow. And um, no offense, folks, I'm gonna pop back into the dome. No, no, you don't understand. I go to him. Ah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, emissary is up. He is. I have too many pages. Welcome to DMing. I know, right? It's D&D. <laughs> Off topic, did you get your folder that was on the table? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. Okay. Why is my thing not working? Oh, I got to mark my guiding bolt spell slot. Here's my spell chart. There it is. Spells. Spells. That's not it. <clears throat> Who's, whose turn is it? The emissary? It is the emissary, and he's going to cast Flaming Sphere. Ooh. Is he three or two? He is three. So he's going to cast it in an unoccupied space, but he is going to move it into um, Thoot's space. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. That should get the rats, though, because yeah, they're, they're in your I space. Agree. Mm-hmm. Thoot. Get them, get them out of here. Make a saving throw. Da, 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 da. Dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. Eleven. <clears throat> that is a fail. So. There it is. Bring it. Seven damage. Yeah. Did you use your free three points? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I brought some back right at the beginning. The, the werewolf basically didn't hurt me. Yeah, because of the stones and turns. Yeah. So. And that's his turn. Warrior is going to take a couple of swings at you. Me? Great. Yep, because you're riding his grill. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Yep. He's a big guy. Yep. You can take it. First one's going to be... 
Even 21 with my to, blood right 21 to hit? <laughs> Just. Okay. <laughs> For... Uh, it's going to be one plus four. Okay, so four damage. I like that. Second one is an eight plus five, 13 to hit. No. Okay. So that one just misses you by, by a hair. Perfect. All right. And that's his turn. Uh, Talia is up, and she's just sitting quietly. Perfect. Um, We might need you in a moment, but for now, having a safe spot is pretty handy. I understand You are very crunchy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very, bones. very crunchy. It's My just bones crunchy. Uh, the, the rats biting into your mm-hmm. skin. Suit, you're up. Cool. Later me will hate you. Sorry, I have a thing about food. It's the it sounds. I'm sorry. So you're, you're not into that later, but I assume are like, <laughs> hey, yes, I'm... <laughs> I almost um, went into an anxiety attack when I attempted to listen to one just to see what the hell the hype was about. I'm like, that's a shame. <laughs> Speaking of ASMR, um, I'm going to blow some shit up. Um, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> this guy in front of me, mm-hmm. is he looking? How's he look? I mean, I, I waylaid into him a little bit last round. Uh, the warrior, he's he's looking okay. He's really? Got, he's got some. He's had some damage put into him, but he's still all right. Well, shit, son. All right. All right. That's tough. Okay. Joshua, 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 Joshua. Oh. Well, that's a gimme. Okay. (laughs) I guess I'll... um Kind of snap my finger there, mm-hmm. um, and just say the word "boom" because <laughs> it's a vocal and semantic. Yeah. Um, cast "Toll the Dead." Okay. On, wh- on whom? Him. 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 Whom? The, the, the one war- right in front the, of the me. The warrior. Yeah. Okay. So he gets. He does get a whiz save. Okay. Uh, what is your wisdom? All right. Eight does not yeah, succeed. He whizzes. Does not succeed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he takes, it's not great, but it's 11 damage. All right. I'm going to then, uh, risk the attack of opportunity, because I don't give a damn, and I'd like to back up and get within, like, my back to the hut, basically. Okay. If he goes in the dome, it does say that magical effects cannot pass through. What magical effects is he? Isn't he charmed? I don't think it would drop the charm, though. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I, I would think that. Uh, it's written. It's more like you can't attack. You can't throw it. a magic yeah. fort <laughs> through. What? Oh, to hit. Yeah. Attack top attendee. Okay. Uh, and that's going to be. Uh, Eleven damage. What? Holy moly! That's the best shot yet. As I'll eat. Mm-hmm. Did rolled. you go into the? the no. How do know? Yeah, I'm not looking great now. Okay, now it is Doom Ankle's turn. And he is right. going to... I... He's going to try Firebolt at Marina. Nat 20. Mm. I don't... I didn't take the actual... Uh, I'm inside. I'm in the dome. It doesn't matter. Mm. Was that Doom Ankle or Emissary? That was Doom Ankle. Okay. So you definitely know where he is now. Yes, I didn't before. Target takes 1d10. 3, 10, 13 damage. And then he is going to command his swarm of rats that are now on fire. <laughs> to move from where the space where Thoot was to move um, back to where Marina is. So make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Nat 20 plus 3. <laughs> you save. You're good. <laughs> oh, look, ants! Yeah. 
The yes, rats it's not are rats. going to take <laughs> fire damage. And a few of them die, not many. Okay, back at the top of the turn. Marina, you're up. I'm going after the emissary. Okay. Um, I'll go with the dagger since I've got it. 22. That is a definite hit. That is a 7 plus 5, so 12. Okay. That's one attack. Mm-hmm. And in that one. No, it isn't. Not while Welby's nearby. Is Welby still inside the dome? I don't know if that matters or not. It sounds like a magical probably effect does, to me. It probably does matter. Yeah. It's a racial effect, but... Oh, no, you're good. Go for it. Yeah? Yeah. That's the halfling thing. You what? get to re-roll. I have bountiful luck. Oh, you're bountiful. My opposed, friends get to re-roll As opposed to just regular half Which is good, because yeah. not Marina... Amy tends to roll a lot of ones. That's why I took it. One reason. <laughs> it fit the character more than anything. But that's one reason I leaned to that instead of the other luck. 13? 13 hits. <sighs> okay, if it's once per attack, does that mean per turn or per attack? If per I can attack. re-roll a one. Oh. I can re right focus. I can re-roll a one on a right die only once per attack. Is that per turn? or per No, attack? per attack. I rolled one. <laughs> okay. Seven plus... Actually, I realize I've been rolling the wrong die. Four plus four. Eight plus one. Nine. Okay. All right. Uh, Welby, you're up. Fawry rats, werewolves. I thought this was a smash and grab. I'm gonna pop out of the uh, pop out of the dome. I'm gonna. Do I get any semblance that this guy might be hurting? I'm bleeding a lot. I, I guess I can see out of the dome. I can see that right. he's been getting hit. Right. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus to throw a healing word on him. On through. Yeah. Okay. At first level. <laughs> At seven. Better than nothing. And uh, I can't use my spiritual weapon then. I'll use my bonus to attack uh, with Sacred Flame on um, the Doom Ankle that I've been hitting. Okay. Uh, my regular action to do that. Um, so I have advantage, Cause of the or guiding. I would, but that's not an attack roll. So I guess Guidance or Guiding Bolt is still just going to stay on him because he makes a save. She. Or she. Someone attack? No, that's right. You've been the one that's been attacked. Yeah, nobody's she attacked him as their ankle, so yes, that's he's, not gonna... he's, you still have advantage against him for attacks. But this doesn't let me roll, so I guess that's going to oh, hang out save. on him. Yeah, it's yeah. going to hang on. Okay. He needs to make a save. Uh, 13 plus 15. Nope. Okay. Eight radiant damage. Okay. And... Uh, I'll hang out here this time, I suppose. All right. With me new friends. All right. Emissary is up. He is going to take a dagger attack at Marina Zamfersko. Emissary is the one that I think is just a great guy. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, he's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't transfer the mutual suffering to him, but that's okay. That's more a storyline thing. You rolled a 10 plus 4, 14? Nope. Okay, he misses. Sucker. And he is, yeah, okay, that's that. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> There's really nowhere he could go that's not still in danger. No, no, so. I, 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 I think that's okay. Yeah. yeah, that's his turn. Uh, warrior's up. Warrior's going to take a couple more shots at Thoot here. Oh, gonna move no, up. I did run away from him. Yeah, he's going to move up to you and okay, take great. a couple of shots at Thoot. Okay. So. Sorry, every he time he says two... He, didn't, I, he says, didn't pass by our, our friend over here so she can get in attack of opportunity or anything, does he? That fell off. I think she's further. That one did not. 16 plus numbers? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Okay. <laughs> every time he says... Can I, I be just so say, I'm not exactly right next to this guy? <laughs> like, when <laughs> I came out? Uh, like, 
15 i had enough movement like maybe 10 10 maybe feet 10 away feet. from him yeah sure i just don't want to be right next to him that's going to be two plus three five damage okay second attack 12 plus four six 12, yep. plus, 12 plus four no 12 plus five 17 same thing uh it's going to be four plus three seven damage okay and that's his turn all right He's just reopened a wound that I just closed up. And it is now Talia's turn. Who's going to sit there? We need you! <laughs> Legit? No, I don't care. Okay. It's not well, my turn. She could... Yeah, I don't know. I consider talking free actions. I'm not worried about... If you... you could get her to come out and heal you, or you could run in there and let her heal yes, you. Yes, that's the other option. But that guy's right next to you now, so... If you run in there, he might he's going to swing at you. She could bring me back. Right? Okay, so. I'm sure she's a bard. She has to have healing words. Right? So Talia does nothing. Uh, Thoop, <laughs> you're up. Toot. Can Talia hold her action? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. All Go right. For it. This is what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I mean... It's, we're going to Eldritch Blast. It's twin beamed at this point. Um, and. I forgot I had Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. Always Eldritch Blast. Um, so that's two D10s, and he's hexed. So it's a D6 for each. And I add my charisma modifier. So that'd be plus eight to whatever I tell you. Okay, so your charisma mo- modifier yes. is eight. Yeah. No, it's per, per beam. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we have 12. He's dead. <laughs> you said the no, warrior, the warrior, right? 20. Yeah, the guy that's dead. But so. that's to hit. No, right? there's no to hit with Eldritch Blast. Oh, no. yes, there is. Yeah, there yeah. is. It's, it's, a, spell, it's a range spell attack. Range spell attack. attack. <laughs> Twin beams, that's not to hit. Range spell attack, what did I hit? I was just talking about damage, I'm sorry. 13, which probably didn't yes. hit. Miss. Oh, good. You said miss? Yeah. 13. Why'd I miss say again? anything? Give <laughs> <laughs> it to me. He's I, not then dead. Then I, I, I do the middle finger and nest he plunge into the uh, hut. Okay, he is going to get an attack of opportunity. I'm in the hut. Yeah, as you're falling back, he gets an attack of opportunity. I'm in the hut. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a 20 to hit. Ish. Hits ish. Okay. <laughs> He's in denial. For five damage. Yeah, so I'm unconscious as I fall into the hut. <laughs> so you don't really jump, you just... Oh, no, I flipped him off, I nest he plunged, which is just the... <laughs> I was already falling in a attempt and to... Actually, can as, I bonus action dodge? Is that a thing? No, it's not. As, I can bonus action... As you land... Tumble. <laughs> not when you're unconscious. I could have beforehand. No, as you, too late, as you, cannon. As you land, Marina reaches out. Marina? Not Marina, Talia. sorry, Talia. Thanks, Marina. I did not know I had any healing spells. Is that an eight or a six? That's an eight. You take uh, 13 points of healing. Perfect. Whoa. She's got cure wounds. She casts second level. Oh, okay. And yes, cure wounds. Marina does not have any healing spells. My bad. My bad. In case you haven't figured out, I got a lot of people up here. <laughs> You're doing great, Mike. Some of them aren't even mine. This is a tough battle. <laughs> You're doing good. Hi, I'm Mike, and you're listening to the Date Night Podcast. If you're interested in our homebrew content, such as class and race options or other unique things about the show, you can check that out from our friendly neighborhood game mom's Dungeon Master Guild page. So some of them are free, some of them are pay what you want, others are just a few dollars and are used to really, they really do help us out. Um, you can find all of these by going to our website, d8nightpodcast.com, and clicking on the store tab, or by going to dmsguild.com and searching for Will Mayer. Now, I've seen some of Will's content. Actually, I've seen it all. But the titles are Path of the Fury for the Barbarian, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Rules for Building Your Own Homunculus, which is just horrifying, Bloodlines, A Guide to New Playable Races, Backgrounds and Feats, and Great Cool Fire Touches Guide for the Homebrew Magic Items made specifically for this campaign. Speaking of that campaign, let's get back to it and hear what's in store next for our characters. All right, uh, so that was Thoot. So we are Doot. down to Doom Ankle. Oh. Ooh. Give him one of those cartoon, like, I'm, I'm not really supposed to be out here. Yeah. Kind of waves with my fingers. <laughs> like, 
I didn't pop back in. Another That's firebolt fine. at Marina. I had meant Marina this time. Because mm-hmm. he can see Marina. Uh, that's going to be a nine plus. No. Hang on. You could have like 27 attack Shh. modifier. Nine Mine. plus nine plus four, 13. No. Okay. Goes <laughs> right past your head. Does he set the boat on fire? No, because it goes over the ocean. The boat actually where the rats were is starting to char and show visible signs of maybe catching. Plus the werewolf. How how imminent is that? The werewolf didn't have enough fire on him to, to affect the sturdy planks in, in a is is there like a big is this a big problem the fire or is it there are five small? foot square of of rats that are on fire starting to I mean they're they're taking damage. I by the way I gotta roll that shit. <laughs> I just imagine one of his biggest mm-hmm. first fights was the 40 members of the bandit battle. Uh, but it's not a huge area that's it's on five, fire. Five foot. Okay. A few more rats die from the flames. And back to the top, Marina. And I'm still over by the emissary. Is he still alive? I think he's still up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Wait. I see him cast Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah, I can do that now. <laughs> Again, <laughs> Marina still new to her powers. Don't give me that look. Air, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God. Don't give me that look. I was not giving you a look. I was thinking of something else. I'm sorry. I, I, again, a lot of people in my head. You, get, you roll separately for each beam. Who are you attacking? Emissary. He's within melee range. Roll at disadvantage, please. Does his charm... Oh, did, he is? did you get there? Yeah. Like, he's been I'm running stabbing. there. Does his charm no. fall off of me? Because I if died. I am in melee, then yes. I won't do Eldritch Blast. If I would know that. I mean, you know that you're in melee. Okay. Then ignore that. <laughs> I think I was still running to him for some reason. No, she stabbed him a couple of times. I was only 10 feet away last turn. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. You 16 did. plus 7, 23. To hit? Yes. Yeah, that hits. With the correct D. 5 plus 4. 9. He's still up? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we've been spreading our damage around. 22. That also hits. 8 plus 2, 9. No, 10. ten. <laughs> Math. Okay. He's got some wounds on him. You're slowly turning him into a pin cushion. Sweet. And Welby. Yeah, so I've got advantage if I go at Doomy. So uh, I'm going to throw another guiding bolt at him. Okay. Uh, 19 is the better one. Yeah, that's a definite hit. Oh. Uh, that's 16 points. <laughs> he falls dead. Yes. Okay, and he's still Sorry. glowing. If you want, attack at his body next time is at advantage. <laughs> um, how are you looking? Oh, I can't throw a heal anyway, because uh, I used my spell that turn. I'm good anyways. I'll move the spiritual weapon over toward the emissary. Okay. It's pretty close, right? Yeah, he's, they're within melee of each other. And um, make an attack there. Okay. Ooh, no. Uh, that'd be 10. I could add my, my inspiration. inspiration. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, 17. Hit. Cool. Nice. I'll roll that for the damage, too. If the kid's yeah. possessed, he'd be so pissed. Uh, that's 12 with the spiritual weapon. That's almost my max. So. Okay. He is definitely hurting. Good. Uh, I'm going to hang out here still. Okay. The, uh, what are you doing? Mimicking pincushioning somebody? Oh, okay. <laughs> the shaman is looking very hurt. Very Sorry, happy. emissary. Emissary. Very happy. And, um, he is going to <laughs> run away. Run away. He died in the ocean. Run away from the stench <laughs> in the trenches. He's going to spit blood in your face. <gasps> no, no, don't, don't. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Gross. That's, that's not good. Yeah, and yeah. Wrong one to do that to. Take his hands <laughs> and clap them right in front of him, and he's going to do Thunder Wave. So please make a constitution saving throw. 14. Hmm. 14 versus 16. You fail. Uh, so you are going to take 2d8. Has he... Oh, you're not charmed. I was going to say, has he made any concentration checks? But it doesn't matter. It's going to be 7 damage, and you are pushed 
10 feet away. Is anybody else up in melee? I don't think so with these two. No. no. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. All right. My spiritual weapon, which is a big meat cleaver, is there. So he's trying to make, <laughs> make distance away from you. Oh, that won't help him. Now that he has, he turns around, heads back through the door. Yeah. Okay. Is the door still open? Yes. And he's 30 feet of movement. He disappears down the stairs. Oh. Yep. Smart. All right. Warrior has... Well, but you're still outside. I am. Warrior's I'm not far from him. Ten gonna feet. Uh, going to make... Step over a couple of paces and mm-hmm. take a couple of swings at Welby. I thought he was dead. No, huh. not yet. Damn. We dropped Doom Ankle. He will be. Six plus four, ten? No. Okay. Ten a second be. swing. I'm, I'm small. Eight plus four, twelve. And also, I'm um, just too nimble. Okay. <laughs> well, this was time well spent in his. <laughs> Guys, can I use a free action just to talk? Sure. Talia, the guy going in the door, can't let him get the kid. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, Talia is up. So. Do things. She drops the orb <gasps> and goes, finally. And if, as horrible and impatient as they sound, I probably should have had a spell prepared. Ah, interesting. Can I Again, she ru- actually, people. you know what? Screw it. I'm a melee guy. She runs up. Past the to the warrior, and she's going to take a couple of slices oh, no, with the her. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear me do that? I said, "Oh well." She's she's running up, hitting, and then she's going to keep going. Okay, um, that's why. Right. <laughs> she's going to hit in the back of the head. No. Boink. She hasn't been hit yet. <laughs> she's got it. All right, yeah, I guess that's true. Says the one who also hasn't been hit yet. <laughs> she rolls Just a. Like. <laughs> Well, plus boink. two fourteen. She misses on the first. Of course. I like how my character for a halfling gets brave. Oh she, yeah, brave. Is he, brave. he is not brave. Yes. <laughs> she hits on the second. I like the brave they thing though. D eight. I think halfling is just an interesting race. Seven plus two nine nine three. Five. She she drops him. She cuts. Oh, right. he's done. She cuts right... Wait, am I looking at the right stat block? Yeah, she drops him. Sweet. She cuts right across his throat, and she keeps going. She's not quite to the emissary yet, but she is right at the door. Maybe we should have taken her out of the bubble a little sooner. He was almost dead. All right, uh, Thoot. I smashed through the floor. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. All right. (laughs) Oh, no. Bonus action. Move my hex to the damn emissary. You can no longer see him. And also it dropped when I went dead. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> 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 so so anyway. I got you there. <laughs> yeah, I got you there. Um, when I went dead. If 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 Doom Ankle's still glowing, <laughs> if he goes over and tries to smash through the floor right there, <laughs> does he have advantage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep in mind, you do have, because this, this would be noticeable, you do have still a swarm of rats that are actively on fire. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. Um, they're fire rats. We're fine. Yeah, they, they're gonna, they should be dead by now, honestly. No, not yet. I mean, what is that, a D4 per round of fire at least? I've been rolling D6. He's got a swarm. Uh, yeah, yes, I say at least. I mean, a swarm. Yeah. Anyway. And they've taken rounds I don't know damage. why I'm swinging to see if I hit the floor or not. How big is the fire now? It was five foot last. Still five go. feet. Okay. But it's definitely so, caught. So how do you want me to try to yeah. smash the floor with advantage? Is that just basically roll the two and see which one's higher? Great. 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 <laughs> um, it's not good if I just use straight strength. If you, What's the AC of the floor? Do I hit it? <laughs> Hang on. I, I looked that up, but it's been so long I There forgot. is some stuff on the screen. I don't know if it helps you. Like I, AC I, of objects. I got an 11, a 13. I don't think it was very high, but I can't remember. Object armor class would fifteen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you would hit it, you just not damage it. Yeah, great. It, it does impact, but the squishy, I get a second hit though. The squishy meat of <laughs> doing the squishy meat of Doomankle's body deadens Wait, you, your strike just oh, that enough. Was with that advantage. was with advantage. <laughs> oh, I was with advantage. Now you don't so have then advantage. I have a second hit. Yeah. <laughs> 
did with hitting the people. Wet <laughs> slapping noises as you continue and to I, and and this the board dead gnome people. body. I grab, I grab whatever that guy's head is. Do mankle, yeah. Take it with me and go down the stairs. Okay. Um, a little disappointed, but but. <laughs> As a bonus action, I want to tumble down the stairs just to make it look like I'm doing action things. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a dexterity To make it check. look like I'm doing action things. I, I, I had can, to I can that. also use... No, that's acrobatics. Yep, great. It's not terrible. It's a 13. Take one point of damage. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You really bang your elbow as you're going yeah. down the stairs. Yeah, I like it. Okay. That's what I like. Oh, but can I see that guy? You can now see him, yes, yeah, at the end of your turn. Uh, it's the rat's turn, so they're going to take a D6 <laughs> worth of damage. Out. That's four. Okay. I'm going to do some damage. And they are moving over into Welby space. Sure. <laughs> sure. <And laughs> they would. Uh, yep. Rats. They're going to take. That's going to do me in. <laughs> They're going to take a bite at you. Uh, the bat and the rats do surprisingly well. Uh, 18. Yeah, that's, that's going to hit. He's a small target, you know. No for rats. Three. You take four damage from the rats Ooh. and five damage from the fire. So nine. Mm-hmm. I get three temporary, so six. Ow! Rats bite fire. <laughs> 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 That sounds like a... Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, top of the round. Marina's running for the stairs. Okay. Marina's running down the stairs. And? She can You're going to leave me up there. here with these rats. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he in and relation to her? Directly in front of you, about Wait, 10 feet. He just has... Now. Make a perception check. Because it's dark. 18 plus 2. 20. You can see, you can see a small figure towards the bow of the ship, the front of the ship. He's in a chair, he's bound, he has a hood over his head and a very, very nice embroidered green coat. And where is the emissary? He's about 10 feet in front of you. And the Between boy, you and the boy. But the emissary is there. Correct. About 10 feet and in front of you. How far behind the emissary is the boy? Another 40 feet. Okay. And that's as far as I can get on my turn? Correct. Eldritch, Eldritch. Eldritch Blast. Nine and 14. 14 hits. The ship is not near like anything. Like, and I'm still up on the deck. Right in the here. ocean. Yeah, he's taking damage, right? Yes. You don't have Titan Slayer, though. What are you, what are you getting at here? I'm just trying to... Oh, wait. Sorry. You're not Kira. Paleontologists have agreed... I was to looking at Toll of the Dead instead. 1d10 each. That's still not good. I rolled a one. You rolled a one, so one damage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's still up. <laughs> so you did one? Again, barely, it's my first time casting. Oh, no, barely it's... clinging to life, but he is still Don't up. Don't worry, at least you hit him. All I shocked right. him with some static electricity. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I, <laughs> well, well, be you're up. So it's just me and a rat, then? Yep. On top of the deck, yeah. I'll bring me spiritual weapon over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and with the cleaver, I'll try to smush as many rats as I can. Go for it. This is your life. This is your life. That's, That's uh, 19. This is that violent. definitely hits. Sweet. Oh, wrong dice. Great. Uh, that's uh, 11 okay. radiant damage. You smush a fair amount of rats. But there's still more. Yep. There's always more. Um, <laughs> Wait, no, 11. That's my bonus action. So then, um, with me action, Roll. how does Sacred Flame work if I'm in the same space as a swarm? <laughs> <laughs> so you both make the save. Not well. Yeah, that could be trouble. How about with me real cleaver? Yeah. Go for it. Rats on the menu. Yeah, all right. Rats on the menu, boys. Uh, 16? To hit? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that does a six. Nice. Uh, nine damage. Okay. That's the most I could do with that cleaver. You have taken out a large portion of rats nice. and... Still more. 
Still, yeah, just a few more rats. You feel <laughs> in the back of your head a general feeling of disgust. Like, yeah, that was horrible. This is what it's like being a, a mortal and all. It's a lot of rats. And you just hear scribbling. Okay. Uh, emissary's turn. Son he bitch, runs. I take out the rats. <laughs> <laughs> pulls out his dagger and runs his full 30 feet towards the boy. He's still about 10 feet away. You get an attack of upper. No, you're not because you're not mm-hmm. in melee yet. Okay. Runs 30 feet towards the boy. But he doesn't make it yet. He does not make it yet. Oh, and Talia. Talia is at the top of the stairs. Mm-hmm. She continues running down the stairs. She should get be able to get closer than me. She is not quite. She was ahead of you there. before, I think. Yeah. She's she's maybe about twenty feet from him. Whereas you're thirty feet. Right. Uh, and then I am terrible at this. Do no, she has no ranged. She has no ranged attacks. Nope. Does she have an old person? No. Screw it. She's gonna huck a sword at the guy. Sweet. Natural 20. <laughs> Even if I roll a one, he dies. So. <gasps> oh, oh, she takes I'm a stupid Eldritch Blast. One of her, Me too, man. One of Me her, too. Her, her scimitars just <laughs> right into his back, and he falls face first. His As his body slides, slides right up to the boy's feet, and the kid kind of... <laughs> And she took dead. him out. She was badass. I'm up here. I don't get to see none of it. I'm fighting the fucking rats. You're not here. You can't see it. I know. Wrong voice. I, just, God. I did it! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thoot, you are up. That's what I do. I did it! I killed her! <laughs> okay. And then uh, I walk uh, elegantly. Elegantly? <laughs> and I, I, I take the eye patch that I still have on. I said over the other eye. I said, that's why I missed. <laughs> and, uh, I walk up to the to the boy. But now you can see really good below deck because your eye was adjusted see? to the dark. See, exactly right. No one else could have done that. Okay, you can make it. There's two more. You can, you can make. No, way there's two more. There's just rats. There's yeah. four of us. The captain. The two. Plus two. Plus the All boy. Right. Everybody's accounted for. Yeah, we killed that goblin guy too. I, sm- I smashed captain, him into Doomy. smithereens. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, orc, orc, and he said that there was one more person, Malik. Yeah, but everybody's accounted four, for. Yeah, and then the boy. The everybody's like, accounted for. Yeah. But th- this, you said there was ten. Did I count wrong? No, you were right. Okay, four of us. Uh huh. Uh-huh. There was the captain, the Doom Ankle, the two orcs, the captain, the boy. That's, That's nine. nine. Wait. That's nine. It's nine. That's nine. It's nine. <laughs> Did you count wrong again? The Ret- rats. Retcon twice. The, the rats were. We'll ten. say the rats were a person. The rats are a there person. Was, the werewolf. No, we didn't. <laughs> that was also <laughs> okay, so th- I feel better. None of us can count. <laughs> yeah, forget it. Hey. Is oh, there anyone else? I was sure everybody no. was and accounted I, for when I, wanna, I just want to put out. this maul of a, of a hand on this boy's shoulder. <laughs> Don't hurt me. You all right? Yes. <laughs> Good. Don't piss yourself now. I'm trying not to. Great. 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 Here we're, here, we're here to save you. Is your name... By the way, we're still in combat, so... I got it. Okay. I know. Hey, I'm going to give you much. six more seconds. Yeah, great. <laughs> uh, I have a name, though. Hold on. Malik uh, Greycastle. Malicus Greycastle. Malicus. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's uh, Malicus. Come with us. We're here to save you. Actually, I prefer Malik. And that's the end. Uh, rat's turn. Oh. <laughs> Top of their turn, they're going to take another two fire damage. And they're dead. <laughs> One more rat nope, bites your ankle. Cool. There's like three or four, maybe. Congratulations, yeah. you now have bubonic plague. And they're going to try to basically flee at this point. Yeah. Um, My skin. Because they're rats <laughs> and they're, and on, they're fire. on fire. Uh, so. Can I take an opportunity attack with Go me, for Cleaver? It. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I can re-roll that. Uh, yeah, that's 17. Mm-hmm. Hit. What was your first one? Just out of curiosity. A one. one. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I can re-roll the one. That's the only one. I couldn't I see. That's why I was curious. That's six again on the D6, so nine. And you killed the last of the rats. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't get sued. Okay. <laughs> That's a nursery rhyme. Yeah, I don't know if you... That one's probably public yeah, domain. Probably public domain by now. Okay, we're good. We're now, good. We're, good. We're, out of com- we're out of combat. Um, Malik. You know... Nobody driving the ship. 
Talia, like, Talia rushes over to the boy, pulls the hood off of his head, because no one's done that yet. Oh. And <laughs> I've talked to him, and then he gave me like a snarky response. I'm he, fine. He I, I know Malik. He would give a snarky response. He immediately <laughs> recognizes her. Talia, Talia, th- th- they took me. I, I didn't want to, but they think t- t- it's all right, Malikas. It's all right. You're it's going Malik. to be fine. This whole time, I've tried to pat out fires, <laughs> kicking rats off the side of the ship that are on fire. Yeah, and, and when you a, said Talia is running to, I thought you were going to say running to start driving the ship. <laughs> make, a, make a dex check for me. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just dex? Yeah. 18? Yeah. You put the fire out within a few seconds, okay. you're fine. So the ship's not on fire anymore. There's a nice little scorch mark there next to the bloody patch that once was Doom Ankle. Sure. No, there's still some pulp there. Yeah. A skull, if you'd like. So. Goliath. The boy starts to calm down, seeing his, his some, apparently he knows Talia somehow. Are we going to back to go to, are we going to go back to Captain Parici? Yes, yes, dear. We are going to go back to Captain Parici. We're going Mr. To Parici is here for you. Let head. me let you out. She takes a dagger and cuts his bonds. So congratulations, Weldy's up by guys. the ship wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to stop it from spinning wildly. <laughs> Would you mind carrying him, please? He's been sitting down for a long time. Yeah, sure. Just grab him up by the hood. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> put, him, put, him, put him on the shoulder kind of thing. And oh, he had his like, head on the Completely beams. disregarding the height of all this, too. Just, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And then, like, just start going up the stairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, hold on to this. And I give him the great axe to hold on to. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then this, I accidentally probably is, hit him again one time. Oh, and, and then we were outside. <laughs> and now one of my favorite characters has brain damage. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> so you guys go up to the top of the deck and Talia takes over. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You're Somebody with good. some skill for this sort of thing. Do me a favor. Go over there and pull that rope. We need to tighten up the sails. Yeah, all right, anything, and I'll go over and pull the rope. Marina goes over to the smudge on the deck and nudges at the mush. Do, do me, do me's corpse? Yes, okay. with her toe. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's no disgusting. pouches or anything? Oh, you're looting. Basically. Okay, yeah, uh, roll for me. Four. No, like Again, do a, like do a nudging roll, it with Fox. her toe. <laughs> okay. Um, there's something kind of smushing around in there. Um, kind of hard to tell what it is like this. Um, it's disgusting. You feel free to pick it up if you want to. You need anything else from me there, Talia? Or is it all right if I go below a minute? Uh, you can go below. That is fine. Yeah, I want to have a look, see. Uh, especially if there's a captain's quarters or any place where there might be. I'm not expecting pirate treasure or nothing, but any goodies. Okay. Make a investigation check for me. Because you go with the door that you went in. Yeah. If you keep going straight, that goes down the stairs. But if you turn to your left, your immediate left, there's another door. It's, it's not locked. It goes right into the captain's quarters. All right. No. Uh, eight. There's some navigational charts, maps. Dot charts. Captain-y things. Yeah, maybe a dot Do chart. Do I maybe get distracted by the galley? <laughs> Is there a... Uh, uh, a kitchen. No. Not in the captain's no. quarters. Just, just dry goods, hard tack, that kind All of thing. Right. Um, well. I offer not some much. bread to the child. He takes it and eats eagerly. He is Me hungry. Me too. We're just eating the hell out of these carbs. Um, I move on to Beetle Warrior once. Just, Are you a giant? Yes. Well, I've giant been, killer. A giant killer. Kill your own kind. So, um, no. But yes, like when they get weak. Okay. And he just keeps going. <laughs> well, like, uh, I killed a giant once for his kind. Okay. I'm still below the deck, by the way. For the little like one's kind. You haven't even seen him yet. There's a little man here your size. Is You'd like a, him. Is another child? You know, you no. Know, he's an old man, I think. Okay. But not weak. Am I going and you're not weak either. Don't worry. We're not here to eat you or anything. Did you know there was a werewolf? Is this not weird? I heard some growling. I, d- I didn't know what it was. Do you want to know where he is? No. Do you get the joke? No. Because it's a werewolf. <laughs> That's funny. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any good jokes, Malik? Um, not really. Yeah, uh, I mean, I thought I thought kids like you, we had good jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Blueberry. I love them. Huh? Blueberry. 
Blueberry who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Blueberry. It's a trap. Blueberry <laughs> who? Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Banana. Banana who? Aren't you glad I didn't say orange? And he laughs. I have one for you. <laughs> what is it? Two strawberries are sitting in a bathtub. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is that the end? No. Oh. One strawberry <laughs> says to the other strawberry, will you pass me the soap? The other strawberry says, what do you think I am, a typewriter? <laughs> You'll get it in a few years when typewriters are invented, but like I heard it <laughs> like through the dimensions. Do people talk to you in your sleep, too? I'm going to go back to Talia. <laughs> um. If I can be, I'm passing Talia rations I took out of the kitchen. Like, I had some pretty good stuff down there. Mm, this is wonderful. Marina's looked at the beetle armor. Guy doesn't see anything because you rolled a one. Yeah, and I want his armor. <laughs> and I've moved on to the captain. <laughs> if you do try to pull it off. I do. Okay. With my strength. Ooh. It tears away. Yeah. From yeah. his, ch- real quick, first roll strength check for me. I just yeah, make sure you don't get I? like a nat one or something. No, I didn't. It, okay. uh, so a, a check would have been a 19. Okay, yeah. Pulls away. The thing is alive, and it seems to be oozing this disgusting, pussy-looking ichor. The I think I'd rather alive. throw it in the ocean, then. Go for it. I do that. Okay. Bug sinks pretty quick. It's pretty heavy. It's a bug. Yeah. It's a big bug. Oh, I should have killed the bug. Yeah. Has Medina made it to the captain yet? Sure. Not 20. You find on the captain a plus one rapier. I look at my crappy rapier that I probably picked up out of the stores at home and overboard. It's littering. I could have used that. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good with swords. Find your own. Wait, <laughs> find Ooh. your own. She's mean. She's a mean lady. Yes, but, you know, thanks, oh, for, oh, thanks for saving my life. Not Malik. Sorry, Malik. Thanks for saving my life. If not for you, I wouldn't have died. You're quite welcome, dear. I don't know who's talking anymore. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Exactly. Now I'm <laughs> One of the many people in your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming to take me away. Ha-ha. Uh-huh. Ho-ho. <laughs> <laughs> my mom used to sing me that song. <laughs> You get a little ping in the back of your head, pushing you towards the orcs. All right. Uh, Excuse me, dearest. And I'll bow and uh, go and walk toward the orcs and uh, look in their pockets. Okay. Roll for me. Investigation. Yep. Yeah. 21. In the pocket of the emissary. You find... Oh, sorry. You also find Talia's money. Okay. From before. Okay. I forgot to mention that. Thank you. I'm holding it, but I'm not giving it to her yet. You find a small necklace with two beads on it. Ooh. Um, Can I just... I kind of slip it into my pocket real quick. And... uh, Are you trying to do so surreptitiously? Um... I probably would. Okay. Just naturally. Perception? Sleight of hand. Yeah. I'm assuming I would not. Not bad. But I'm not nope. Kidding. I don't care. Yeah. Nine. I was verifying I did not. No. Okay. You're fine. No one notices. Or if Tali, or if, uh, yeah, Talia. Damn. If Talia does notice, she doesn't seem to care. A little bit later, if we've got a few minutes, I'll sit down with them and uh, cast Identify as a ritual. Okay. So that I know what I'm dealing with here. But you've handed me a paper, so I guess I know what I'm dealing with. Yep. Sweet. So Talia turns the ship. You are now heading southwest. You, she tells you to expect to be any of those spells that you can cast. I didn't know what you I'll had. I'll have to check through the spells. I didn't know what you had on your sheet, but those are any of those spells but that you can But it's two cast. beads. Correct. So I've got to pick two, right? Right. All right. Well, I'll pick... Um, the lower, the lowest two. Sure, I you know got I a half hour. You can attune if you want to in the in the time. Cool, I'll take one of this. Uh, anybody else investigating anything? And I'll put them on. Oh man, 
I probably would have sunk down a few feet away from the lichen up against the railing crying. Is he still in a wolf form? Yes. I want the skull. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. I'll have Turned it. around and discussed. I'll just take the time if that's okay with you. Sure. Go yeah. for it. Malik starts, or Ma- Malicus, the little boy, looks at you and kind of watches with morbid fascination as you cleave this thing's head. That's gross. I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to keep it, though. Um, Why? Trophy? Or proof? Or cool. Have you ever seen a werewolf? I mean, seriously. I've seen this, one now. Right, right. But like earlier, he wasn't. And then like he was. And like it was kind of frightening, and I almost just threw him very, in the ocean. But I decided instead to kill it. Wait, no, it's and <laughs> instead she killed it. But I, I helped. That's amazing. Yeah. You, you want Talia? to help with this? You mean Talia? Talia killed no. it? No. No, actually, the main I, lady. I think you killed it first, and then I just stabbed it after it was dead. I killed it. Somebody Bare else hand. killed wow. it. I killed it. Somebody Actually. killed it. <laughs> you all killed it. Hell yeah, it took yeah, all we, of us. We killed it. Can, it was can a, I help? Yeah, come on. <gasps> like, small knife, like a regular knife. Uh-huh. I'll hand him a knife. To, like, to, uh, take the paws off. He takes it, he kind of flips it around a little bit, and then <laughs> helps. No, you don't stab it if you're trying to... Never mind. <laughs> Good meat. <laughs> so... Uh, over the next, I just want the trotters, please. Forty-five minutes, an hour or so. You guys sail southwest back towards where um, Perici's ship was. Yeah. You find them on the ship, not up, no longer up at their oh, camp. Cool. And um, he drops a gangplank over to you, and you know you all kind of run up on the ship. The little boy goes straight to Perici, wraps him up in a big hug, and is like, "Saul, it's so great to see you. I was coming to see you, but those bad men took me." The big ones with the green faces. Yes, they are called orcs, Malakas. Are we going are we going back to father now? I am afraid so. I don't mm. want to go. He's going to send me back to the academy. I understand, Malakas, but you need your education and your father is willing to provide one. Look at look to it as an opportunity. Can I cast suggestion on Sal Parici? Can I okay. just make a suggestion to Malicus? It's nothing major, okay. but he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. 16. Uh, that's such a low roll, he does not pass. I just say out loud to him, I say, I mean, the boy's got to go back. But maybe not today, before the party. And that's it. Yes. Of course, you are right, my friend. We must organize a party immediately. Come, everyone, back up to the camp. And everyone starts grabbing party supplies. <laughs> Streamers. Yeah, what what he has on board Eldritch the pirate blast. vessels. Yeah, sure. That's my last second level spell. I practice blast. my Eldritch Blast yeah. so I can yeah. get more of my more than static. I out literally of it. put out the fire without throwing water on it, so I had that. And you guys walk back up to the camp and have another party. Saul plays on the flute. Talia does more sword dancing. Tracy does her, her Just, martial arts thing. When we're walking back up, uh, old, old Thoot wants to Dude. make a suggestion to, to, to Malik. A suggestion? Or yeah, just... I don't have that. I'm out of spells. Oh, okay. Way out. Yeah, okay. I only have like three. Right, that's what I was just verifying. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have nothing. Um, yeah, it's just like, well, if you got to get smart, I mean, that's probably easier for you than getting big like me, so you should like get smart. All right. You don't have to be the strongest. You just have to be the best. Well, I'm not the strongest, but I I want to get better. Eh, just get better. All right. Contribute. I mean, we're not going to leave you behind so long as you I, can do I your I mean, news. I try, but Father never lets me do anything fun. Ah, well, if you want to have fun, and, and tie Yannick, his strings together. And Yannick picks on me, and and it's well, not... Tell Yannick to go suck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's her name? Yannick. His name. His name. His okay. name. Yeah, tell, tell, him, tell Yannick if he has any... Problems, he can come see me. All right. Yeah. Go suck it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and just to clarify, we do get a long rest and everything. Correct. This. You spend the night. It's. I have got to flirt with Talia at the party. As you start to, she walks up to Sal Parici, gives him <laughs> a big long kiss. And then he steps in. And no. <laughs> no, then. As a halfling would be to do. I see. And me little heart is just. Broken, and I think but she sees you, walks over, gives you a little kiss on the cheek. Aww, Marina does not see this. I sit down over in the corner, then not really in the revelry much more for the night, 
pop me shield open and closed a couple times. And remember. Anything else tonight? I rolled a 17. Four. Sleeping. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you all get a good, nice long rest. The next day, you board uh, Parici's ship again. He takes you back down to Harberton. Um, when you get there, you notice a very large, probably 40, 50 crew member vessel there. At the end of the gangplank to the dock is the Duke himself with another young man, bears a striking physical resemblance to the Duke, also in a military uniform, but one of a cadet. Oh, yeah, and I've given Talia back her money. Okay. As Parici walks up with uh, Malik, the, uh, the Duke speaks with his big, booming voice. Ah, uh, yes, my agents have returned. Malicus, I assume you are unharmed. Yes, Father. Very good. Come along. But Father, can't I stay with Captain Parici a bit longer? He, he's much more... Vo- Malicus, come along. You have been missed already at the Academy. Yes, yeah, Shrimpy, time to go back to school. Don't call me Shrimpy, Yannick. I'm not Shrimpy. And you can go suck it. Malicus. <laughs> Sorry, Father. <laughs> Malicus, head hanging a little low, leaves Parici's comforting grasp and moves back to his father, who merely stares down at him sternly. Malik keeps walking up the gangplank and up to the top of the ship where he just kind of holds onto the railing and stares down. Captain Parici, your assistance, as always, is invaluable. Thank you, my Duke. It is always interesting to take one of your jobs. And this one, I say, was most enjoyable due to your son's company. Try not to be too hard on the boy. He has an adventurous heart. Such a disposition is to be encouraged. Again, Captain, thank you. But I'll also thank you not to meddle in my family's affairs. I assure you, they are well in order. The Duke turns back to you. As for you, you've performed admirably. I have already completed and signed your release forms. Should you ever return to Eichner, you will be allowed free roam throughout the normal areas allowed to citizens. Furthermore, your coin, he throws purses to you and you. And as for your favor, I want to let you know that it's been handled. That's all I ever wanted, Sir Greycastle. I always have a use for useful people. Should any of you find your way to Eichner again, you can find work. If not, well, that is your prerogative. And with that, the Duke turns to leave. Malik gives you one more toothy smile and waves goodbye as the ship slowly begins to pull out of port. Well, my friends, what will you do now? I dual Eldritch Blast Malik in the back. I'm joshing with you, no. <laughs> Retcon. <laughs> Remember that one shot we did? Yeah, scratch that. No, no he's dead. <laughs> what will you do now, my friends? Will you go your separate ways? Will you return to the Duke for more honest work? I could be persuaded to take on you, take you on as a crew, if you're so inclined. I, like the Duke, am always need, needing capable crew members. And you have been most interesting as well. What do you say? I have hunting to do. If these targets are in your future, then my path may align with yours. And what targets would a lady such as yourself be pursuing with such fervor? At present, six more. Have you heard of Van Train? Elucidair? Elucidair. Or Yera Summer Willow? Fodosi Shesriath? Vorsier Hetrin? Hedrin Mephalan, or even one such as Callum Montros. You're from Chiron, aren't you? I have heard of you. No response. You would be a very interesting crew member. I could be persuaded to help you find these men on your list. These people on your list, as they are not all men. At least one isn't. Aye. What do you say? If you will help me hunt them down, then I will. Wonderful. Welcome aboard the trash fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you, my friends. <laughs> that laughs in character. <laughs> 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 trash fire. 
Um, hmm. I look over, uh, is Talia around? Aye. Where's your next destination? <laughs> right now, it is merely the horizon. Although I feel we are going to be pursuing some targets soon. There is always some coin to be made in political intrigue. I know I don't want to be in Ike near no more. It kind of work doesn't suit a man of my age or new tastes. I have favors to save up for. And I think one of my benefactors would like to know, at least briefly, what it's like to be a pirate. <laughs> that is fantastic. I will tell you one thing for your benefactor. He sweeps his hand across and you see the early morning sun cresting over top of the water. You cannot beat the view. No lie. And I'll just kind of in the back of my head to uh, Seth Agma say, <laughs> Yes. This is one in my favor. Yeah? It sounds very interesting, yes. Perfect. Scribble, 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 scribble. And you, my large friend. Well, unfortunately, I'm really just here to learn how to be a better magician, better wizard. Uh, you know. So that's really all I'm about right now. I have to prove to my clan that it's valuable. I mean, I'm here for adventure. If you can prove to me that maybe you can teach me something that I don't already know. <laughs> I know we are so going much. after a prince. Is he big? He is a prince. I mean, but like... He has I'm many, many guards. <laughs> big guards. Should be quite the challenge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. But I can, like, blast him, too. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd smash him. Yeah. 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 Will you ever get rid of the voices in my head? Can you help me with that? That'd be... Whatever. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later. A a darker look kind of flashes (laughs) over his face for a second. We will work on that one together. Okay. (laughs) This is wonderful news. I'm so happy. My crew has grown by three. Very well. Talia, take us out to port. You, I think, I owe a fortune. I think's true. Uh, I, I think that... Probably Marina do. quietly scoffs off. And with that, our first episode of this new arc. First episode. First <laughs> session of yeah. this new arc. Multiple has episodes. At least two. Thank you all for playing. I had a great time. Thank you, Mike. You did very this good. Was you did wonderful. Very well. Yeah. Especially the second half. Very exciting. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah. I had a, a, I had a blast. blast. I had an Eldritch blast. <laughs> Thanks for sharing our date night with us and exploring a whole new world together. We'll see you again next week. Until then, keep in touch by following us on Twitter at Date Night Podcast or visiting d8nightpodcast.com. 